Hey guys, I'm Max and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Dashblock. Dashblock turns any website into an API in order to automate processes, testing campaign, and also collect information at scale. Let's say we would like to monitor new mobile apps on Product Hunt. To build this session, we can go to the website, open Dashblock Chrome extension, and create a project. We'll call it Product Hunt. Once we created the project, we'll be able to add tags. A tag lets you, let you resiliently identify and interact with any element on any web page. It's based on our machine learning model and is way more easy to use and resilient than CSS selectors or XMAS. So I will start by tagging the search bar. I just click on it and save it. There is two ways to add tags. Either you can click directly on the element, either you can hit command while you select the element in order to propagate your selection. And this is what I will do here, as we have different products, taglines, and upvotes that we would like to pass around. Let's create a tag for the product. I hit command and select the elements I would like to pass around. Let's add some more samples to the model. Boom. We will repeat this process with the taglines and the upvotes. Done. Now you can see all your tags. And we have what we need. So the search bar to input information and the three kind of elements that we would like to get, the title, the tagline, and the upvotes. Let's go back to Dashboard. Here we can go in the projects, find our project and projects. I have a few ones here. And once in the project, we can create an endpoint. Basically, an endpoint is a script to, on which your automation will be based. It starts with a go-to which will go to the website you would like to automate. So here, product.com. And once there, we would like to input information in the search bar. We have a method which is dk.input to do so. The tag name, search bar, and the information we would like to fill there. Once we inputted the desired keyword, we can submit the search. And then we can return the information we would like to gather. We have a collect method, which will simply collect the information you want. So we created three tags, product, tagline, and upvote. Seems good. Let's give it a try. When you hit play on the bottom part of the screen, we will connect you in real time to one of our browsers that will execute your script. So here it's accessing product hunt inputting the, the desired information, submitting the form. And then collecting the data. That's great. What if I would like to monitor different types of products? So here it's mobile app, but maybe I would like to monitor also web browser. What I can do is create a parameter. So I will call it product type, for instance. And this parameter, I can create it with a method that we have, which is params.get. In one line of code, I will add a parameter to my API so that I can customize the research I'm performing on product end. So now I created the parameter, we have a input icon that I lighted on the bottom part of the screen. And here I will be able to enter an information. So for instance, web browser. And then run my call. Run my session, sorry. This is it. We got the new browsers. Now I can just execute this session on a daily basis and get new mobile apps, software, web browsers, and more. How to do so? You have an integrate button on the top right where you will retrieve your endpoint, your parameters, and also your API key to perform the call. This API can be called via Zapier, Integromat, or directly from your backend. Thanks for assisting this video. And I'm, going, um, I'm looking forward to talk with you on the next one in order to show you how to build advanced automations with loops and logic.
Cheers.